everyone, it's Misty Vale coming to you at you on a Saturday morning, July 1st. Happy July. Um, so today what I wanted to do was just show the four beginner races. I know you've seen me probably run through them again, but for those who haven't seen all four races at the beginning, I just wanted to show you. I have um, a full that I bred on this character. This is my, this is not the playthrough I was on before. This is my second playthrough. So I'm a little further ahead. As you can see, my current quest is to place first in the Pine first pine Forest Advanced Race. I have not done that yet. I've gotten third. Um, so this is my fault, Jerry. Well, you can't see him that way. Weird kid. There's his mama, the paint in the background. Um, okay, so this is Cherry. Cute. So he is... And this is mama walking behind him. So his speed is 31. His endurance is 26. Jump 31. Flexibility 24. I've trained him a little bit. You can see... When you get a full, they're born with 100% potential. Um, and his mom and dad were um, the beginner horses. Or, no, they were common. They were the common horses. Um, so they're a little bit higher than you would do in the beginning, but still not by much. You could do this. Um, so he's down to 88%. Um, but I wanted to show you all four of those beginner races not to come into first, necessarily. Um, wow, you put it down. Okay. Um, but that is the goal, is to show you the two shortest races, which is the River Shine debut race and the um, uh, hang on. Pine Forest Bunny Hop. Those are the two shortest races. And then the, t the longer races is the Lupine Meadow um, oops, uh, flower field, and then the Crystal Lake Bridge Path. Now, I had recorded this yesterday, but it just, it, I just couldn't get it to work when I was clipping it, because I was having too long of moments and too weird transitions and stuff like that. So we're going to try this again. So this may take me two, two days to do. So I'm, let's see, I'm going to give him a apple. And then we're going to do the River Shine Beginner, which is the debut race. Um, So I've just progressed in this in this save. I've just progressed to oh, yes, boots. Hey, oh my god! It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a video without boots acting stupid, and crazy, and trying to get my attention. Girl, I just fed you. She's gonna knock everything over. Watch. I did not jump the wrong obstacle. That's a glitch. Okay, so we got that. Cats, cats, cats. Alright, so... I'm trying to think through. Um, can I do... We'll try the Pine Forest one. I probably The goal isn't to come into first place. The goal is just to show you the races. And I'm looking for the cat. Okay, sure is... 
sort of stuff. She's gonna. Oh, for a second, I thought I was in Crystal Lake. I was like, wait a minute. strictly just to get you an idea if you haven't done these races what they look like and so you don't get so lost always use your guide arrows as you can see right there the guide arrows are really help but when you're first doing it it's really confusing and like these stones you can get stuck on so be careful Those are the first two races, the shorter races. Oops, why? Oh, you gotta love them. Kitty kitties. So cute. So we're at the end of summer on this save, and this, whoops, my next my advanced horse is going to be um, a liver chestnut that I just bought. She's over here. Oh, man. I'm going to kick this kitty cat's butt. Yes, I am. I'm going to kick your butt. Yeah. So this is this is going to be my advanced horse. Um, spring. So her stats. I've got her up to... <laughs> Everything but flexibility is up to in the 50s, and flexibility matters. And if you guys want to see me do, oh, now we're in fall. This is what fall looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? Super, super pretty. It does make it hard to find the straw there. Oops. The straw gets a little blended in. Like, there's two straw ahead of me, but it's kind of hard to see. Because <laughs> it blends really well. Um, so, but what I was going to say, if you want, if you like this, watching me do the beginner races and want to see me do the uh, intermediate and advanced races so you can see what they look like, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and to and subscribe. Thank you so much. I think this is his mom. Yeah, this is his mom, Fire Fawn. Fire Fawn. That's really hard to say. Say that five times. To me, she looks like a liver chestnut, but they say she's a black bay to buy now. I was like, ooh, okay. Buying her anyway. And uh, her speed, I've gotten her using the... Um, Statues. I've got her speed up to 52, endurance 42, jump 40, and flexibility 41. So, but I'm keeping her. Where is? Did I put him in the? I did. I walked right past him, didn't I? I guess where I put him in the field. Oh, oh my God, he's right there. Goodness. Yeah, if he was a snake, he'd have bit me. Oh my gosh. There's a snake in my boot. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can't do the longer ones. So, now we're going to do the Lupine Meadow, uh, which is called Flower Field. And then we're going to do the Crystal Lake, which is called the Bridge Path. And he just got a point. Okay, we can get points because he's got like 88 potential, and I might just keep him and see how much of his potential I can use to um, level him up. Because he's a super cute kid. 
really like him. And that's one of the things with, with breeding foals is they start out with 100% potential. So you can, if you really want the foal, uh, you can keep them and you can just keep training them. And then if you really want, you can use the statues on them. Um, so fun fact, the statues, um, I thought every time you did a race, they all lit up, but apparently it's how many times, like the Rivershine one, 10 races in the city, in the town. Pine Forest, 10 races in Pine Forest. Crystal Lake, 10 races in Crystal Lake, etc. Lupine Meadows, the same way. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was all inclusive. But no, they're all separate. So I was like, I couldn't figure out how it was happening. So that's one little point. If you didn't know that. Oh my goodness. No, the cat door is open. I was going to say, I kicked her out and she's back. Child, I can't help you. And I'll kick your bushy little butt if you try and get up and start knocking crap over again. You just want. You just want to be on TV, is that it? You just want to be on YouTube? Is that it? Yeah? You want to be a YouTube kitty? You want me to turn the camera on and have a cat cam? You want me to show everybody your pretty little face? Yeah? I know. How horrible. I just fed you and now you're all over the place. Yeah. Ma'am. Girl, if you chew my wires, I am going to kick your tail and wake your mama up and tell her. No. So again, the point is just to show you the beginner races, not necessarily doing them, although that would be helpful. Oh, well, okay, that one. Right, I think I already gave him a treat, didn't I? Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. Sorry about that. I have a lot of editing to do on this. Alright, so now we're going to do the Crystal Lake one. So the Crystal Lake is the bridge path. And of course, each of these is um, a higher price, or a higher pay payout. Actually, in this, <laughs> I can't win. In this instance, a <laughs> loop, loopine meadow is the one. She's waking my mom up. See so the left here. Again, follow the guide arrow if you're ever in doubt. I've done all the races up to, up through advanced. I have not done the expert ones because they just kind of tweaked my butt. Did not have good luck with them. That's what I have to work on. And let me know what you need to work on if you want me to show you something. Uh, in particular, in Those are the four races, and I just wanted you to have a look at them, and let's see. So that is where the video is going to end right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next.